It's Disability Rights Awareness Month and the Eastern Cape government says the spotlight will be put on heinous crimes committed against children and people living with disabilities. Now, this was the message as the province also marked National Children's Day at an event in dispatch in the Nelson Mandela Bay Metro. The province is currently faced with the challenge of malnutrition as well as lack of access to certain services, especially in rural areas for people living with disabilities. Among the issues highlighted, children who do not have birth certificates. SABC News reporter Nandipa Blaiki has more. Well, a very good day to you in studio. We are here in dispatch in the Eastern Cape where the provincial government um, is hosting the Children's Day, the Provincial Children's Day, and they're also launching the Disability Rights Awareness Month. There's a number of issues here in the Eastern Cape that relate to children's rights, including that uh, many children are dying because of malnutrition. So poverty is quite a big issue in this province. With me, I have the MEC for Social Development, Bukiwe Fanta. Thank you very much, ma'am, for joining us today. Um, today, the Eastern Cape Provincial Government is here. Um, tell us what led to the, um, this event being held here in dispatch and what are some of the issues that you're looking at? Thank you very much, Mr. Sazi. Today, as Eastern Cape Government, we are launching Children's Rights Month and Disability Month here in Nelson Mandela. Uh, these programs the are yearly programs and we are rotating uh, in all the, the districts. So our office do assessment and identify where there's a need. Uh, here in Nes Mandelega there's a need especially to young to children. Uh, as a department of social and I was once here because the children, we have children with undocumented that were undocumented. So we had a program just to make sure that was immediately we are not documented. There's a problem of getting the grants. Uh, our government, when it comes to malnutrition, have done a lot. Uh, we've got good safe nets for both disability and, and, and children. Uh, SASA, in particular, our agency, we've got older persons grant. We've got children's grants, we've got child dependent grants, uh, about five grants specifically for those the poorest of the poor, for the children. Our government in schools has got two meals. So at no stage that there's, there's one who can sleep with, with an empty stomach because of the major programs and the safe net that the government has put forward. Two meals, there were one, but we said two, they must eat in the morning, they must eat when they're going home. So these grants are helping a lot our people. But the major challenge that we're having uh, is parents, because they are misusing the grants. In, in, right now, I have a case of a nine-month-old ch child who was nearly killed by a boyfriend of the mother because she wanted the grant of the child. So that what is happening, our people are misusing the grants and they're taking grants as if they are theirs because the grant is for the child. But uh, we've got our social workers that are on the ground to guard against those bad things that are doing by, 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 by elderly people. And as a society, we must be proud of what our government is doing. And we must protect children. Children are the future of this country. Hence, Uman Diba said we must have the, all these grants. It's because children are the future. Hence, we are here today to launch both uh, the children and disability. And what also we are saying to our kids, rights have got responsibility. It's not one-sided thing. They have got a responsibility of making sure that when they are taken to school, they are, get, they are learning in school. They are getting out of all the atrocities that are taking place. They are studying so that tomorrow they are MSCs, tomorrow they are premiers.